I wrote my book, A Black Man's Guide for Working in Corporate America, because when I started out in corporate America, I was naive. I uh, thought that you just work hard and show up every day and, and you'd be all right. But I soon realized that it was more about assuaging certain people's egos and uh, playing p political games around the office. And I was one, I was the only black person on my team and one of a handful in my department. And there was no older black employee to kind of mentor me and show me the ropes and, and kind of guide me through the office space. But So that's what my goal is for this book. My goal is for this book to be that mentor for the generation of black professionals coming behind me. And I highlighted black men because obviously I'm a black man, so I can only speak for my demographic. And I think it'd be presumptuous of me to speak for any other demographic, but also because black men are the least represented in this environment and the most expendable. But the principles in this book can apply to many different demographics. And I also wanted to highlight how perceptions of your race outside the office can impact how you're viewed inside the office. And so I think it's a, a guide for how to navigate this space, what to expect, what problems could present themselves, and more importantly, what solutions. So I just want to get it understood that this is not a list of problems or complaints. On the contrary, it's a list of solutions and how to deal with certain things that come with working in the office that you might not have expected or might not be aware of. And this is going to negate that naivete so you're fully able to deal with some of the situations that present themselves in the office. So go ahead and get it. It's available on Amazon right now. A Black Man's Guide for Working in Corporate America. Go get it.